Hey Ross, well my money makes money. Stash. I've been talking about Stash for about a year, some change now. And just to say it again, Stash is absolutely incredible. It's wonderful. So if you don't know anything about Stash, Stash actually helps you to invest into ETFs and in index funds and in micro investings. Now, I can give you all the information about Stash. I have plenty of videos on them, so you just have to reference those videos. Just go into my playlist in the financial portion and look for any videos that mention Stash. But nevertheless, Stash is micro investing into different funds that includes a various of stocks throughout the market. Tech stocks, social economic stocks, FANG stocks, etc., etc., etc. Now, this is a great way to get into investing if you are young, college, or just starting off your career, or anyone, okay, 20, 30, 40, 15, and so forth. This is a way for you to invest in multiple companies at one time. Now, quite recently, if you reference this video that's right here, you will see that I talked about Stash coming out with individual stocks. Now, right quickly, I'm going to go over some stocks individual companies that you can invest in with micro investing. What does that mean? You will see a stock on the NASDAQ. You will see a stock on the New York Stock Exchange and you don't have to pay the full entire price like Amazon. Amazon is like 1500 some odd dollars, but with Stash, you only have to invest $5. Now, are you going to get a return of $1,500? No. The closer you get to owning one stock, which if you just drop $1,500 down into it, you will have a whole stock and then the profitability of that stock, depending on the market, that is the return that you will get, okay? So anyway, let's go over the individual companies that Stash has added. Now granted, the minimum to invest in one fund or one stock with Stash is $5. Now, if you are under a certain threshold, Stash is only $1 a month and guess what? Your first month is free. So anyway, and I think once you read five thousand dollars, don't quote me. I forget a lot, <laughs> but after that, it's 025 percent of your t entire portfolio on Stash. So here's some of the individual companies that you can micro invest or pay the full price: Alibaba, Alphabet. Alphabet is Google, guys. G O O G G O O G L. Those are the tickers. Amazon. <laughs> I'm investing with Amazon through Stash, not Robinhood. Fifteen hundred dollars. Apple, Boeing, Cisco, like Cisco system, remember those phones or security system? Cisco, not going anywhere. Exxon Mobil, pump, 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 that's your gas. Facebook, Ford, some of these are very self explanatory. General Electric, that's GE, that's what we normally call it by, but it's General Electric. GM, okay, car company. Home Depot, everybody knows about Home Depot. Johnson & Johnson, that powder, that baby oil that you buy. Microsoft, with your Windows or your computers based off if you don't have Apple. Netflix, 98% of Americans probably have Netflix. Nike, you probably got some in your closet. Nvidia, those are the chips that make your computer graphics good, okay? Snapchat or Snap. Starbucks, you probably drink it every day. Tesla, you probably wish you had one. Coca-Cola, you had one before. Walt Disney, I wish I need to go, and some of you have been. Union Pacific is a railroad company, and about 23 links of railroad within that particular fund. You have to check it out. And then last but not least, the infamous and famous Wally World. That's Walmart, guys. So this thing about all the stocks that I just went through, that you can solely invest that 5, 10, 15, 20, 100, 200, 300 dollars in, instead of one of the portfolios that Stash actually made for you. So we've talked about Stash and Privates, how they make these little names like American Innovators. And when you go into the American Innovators, they made a list of stocks that you would be investing in and tell you the percentage, it tells you the performance, it tells you the turnabout from the inception of that fund. With this, you can invest in companies like Apple, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon, Google, or Alphabet in increments, in five and 10, $15. And yes, you will be making money because you can do the same when you talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Stash 
may not have that, but I feel like it's coming because Robinhood has a cryptocurrency part. I'm off of it. We're talking about stash, guys. So if you want to invest in big companies that stocks have been exploding, like Alibaba, the Chinese Amazon, here's your chance. Everybody has $5. This is the thing. You say I don't make a lot and you don't have a lot, but I promise you, I guarantee you, if you have a job, you have five dollars to spare and all thing i'm saying is this if you haven't started investing and you're worrying about the up and day up and woes and you're worrying about how the stock market is going because of chinese tariffs and how the presidency and congress is mixing up guess what these rich people ain't gonna let the stock market fail just like i figured out years ago that the government was gonna let the car companies fail okay and the banks fail so understand this, if you're not investing, you're not making your money works for you. This is Ross world. My money makes money. That is because I invest my money to make it and you have to start somewhere. So if you have $5 or more, you might want to look into some of these funds that they have or just the individual stocks. So check out Stash, check out their index and ETF funds and also their individual stocks. This is Ross world. I'm making some money. It ain't that much, but it's more than what I had. <laughs> I'm out.